morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to video message number 29. A pair of panties. That's what we eat. Would you be quiet, Rosie? Are you through, Mr. Wizard? Yeah, I, I play a little bit, you know. Gaze at a graveyard. Listen up, the ratings just came in for last month. We are number one. We just grabbed every key demographic. Super yeah. duper, gang. Yeah. Super duper. That's nice. Way to go. Neat old gang. Yes. Boy. That is good news. It is the 21st day of March, 2024. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Power Trip Morning Show. My name is Chris Hockey. It's, uh, well, it's Thursday. Uh, I think Tommy O. I know John Creasel. I, uh, I, I would say a cast of thousands after that as well because I know Ben Lieber. But listen, we're going to have some fun today. And tonight, well, we're supposed to get some snow. We'll see, though, right? You never know. I know what we have, though. We have John Wing with some comedy on National Teenager Day on the Power Trip Morning Show. So here's the thing. Get yourself going, man. It's Thursday already. Could be the best day of the week for you. It's going to be the best day of the week on the Power Trip. So come on in. I'm glad you're here. I have two daughters, 16 and 19. So my life is pretty much just pure bliss at this point. (laughs) The 16-year-old thinks I'm an idiot, and the 19-year-old knows I'm an idiot. (laughs) It's a progression. The one good thing about having teenagers is you can speak to them in complete sentences. When they were small, they're only going to hear the first three words you say when they're little. So you got to talk in those idiotic three-word parent sentences all day. Hey, hey, hey! (laughs) Stop that now. Stop it now. I said now. Yes, you will. Yes, I will. Yes, we will. Turn it up, turn it down, turn it off, shut the door, shut the fridge, shut your face, ask your mom, go to bed, go to sleep, clean your plate, have a bath, pick it up, put it down, don't touch that, I said no, no, I said, what did I say? Say that again, I dare you, I hate you. John Creasel. He normally joins us on Fridays, but Johnny K in today, a, a bonus edition, special edition of Johnny Creasel on the Power Trip Morning Show. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, that's Johnny Paul. K. That's Hi. Max. That's Chris. I'm Corey. That's uh, that's John. What up, dude? How are you? Very good. Very good. Hi, good to Johnny. see your face, sir. Good to be seen. Thank yeah. you uh, for accommodating us today, taking the place of one uh, Ben Lieber. Well, thanks for letting me be here, because yeah, tomorrow we got the old pit scan. Yeah? So, yeah. Just, uh, normal scheduled kind of thing? Well, yeah, it's to make sure, I don't know how lo- often I'll have to get them, but yeah. it's to make sure no cancer has come back. Right. And it's, I was telling Corey off air just how weird it is. So I have to, with their, if it wasn't going to be snow tomorrow, I would have been in and just left early, yeah, yeah. but yeah. I don't want to miss this. It's quite the, quite the deal. They sure. inject uh, radioactive sugar in you. Wow. And then you sit for like 45 minutes, do some crosswords and then, uh. They put you through a scanner to see if anything's glowing. Sure. So, like, the last one I had was before the surgery to see if anything had spread. Yeah. And the only spot was the actual tumor, and it was just glowing. Wow. So, hopefully, nothing else is glowing right. except maybe the hog. Right. My sources say sauce doesn't <laughs> like radioactive sugar. Uh, No. No. Can you make it 100? Isn't that what they have? Another <laughs> name for radioactive sugar? Watermelon sugar. Oh, so I love whales. that. Yeah, radioactive <laughs> sugar. It's mm. weird. I'm going to ask some more questions tomorrow because you were like, how often can you have this? Because yeah, I, I would be fine, like I was telling you, if they give this, if it's safe and I have to do this every three months for the rest of my life, sounds good to me because then I, I will know if something comes back. Yeah, right. 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 Yeah. On the surface, and what do I know? I'm not a doctor. On the surface, it sounds like... Uh, Injecting radioactive sugar into your body is something that you probably can't do on a regular basis right. without suffering consequences. So I wonder how many times they can do this. Mm-hmm. And, and I wonder what's going to come out of your thing. When yeah. You pee. Like, uh, just glowing. Yeah, Last just... time it was mostly fine. So, oh, good. I just mostly. have to, I have to eat, uh, 
Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey. Oh, Time out. Ain't nobody got to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do, or yeah. someone else will. That's uh, right. <laughs> what, what did your grandpa always say, Hog? Uh, I can't tell you that. <laughs> I think that was one of the first things my drill sergeants told us at basic training when I was of 17. Of course it was. Yeah, they, like, correct. sat everybody down. They're like, here's what you need to do. You need to do this, or Jody. Jody is the proverbial, like that's the mythical person that's always banging your gal when you're deployed or when you're away. <laughs> Jody? Yeah. Jody? Yeah. Jody? What a yeah. weird name to choose for that. Uh, yeah, you haven't yeah. met him. Interesting. I, the, I had like six names I could have picked, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> picked from, but, but yeah, he sat us down. He's like, listen, you're all young men. Yeah. Here's some important lessons. And I was like, okay, when are we learning how to, you know, protect call America? For fire. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man! Anyway, good to be here, though. Did yeah, he demonstrate for you as well? Uh, no, he did. He Jeez. did give some advice, though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I will say, uh, infantrymen are not uh, afraid to get dirty. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. 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 I can. I can bet that's true. I've heard some stories. Mm. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, see, I mean, you know, that generation knew, right? Oh, yeah. Of course, in that generation, there's probably like three guys who did it, and they were the talk of the town. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. <laughs> the talk of the town. Yeah. Yeah. The word spread. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Emmett well, well, over well, there. Like. <laughs> yeah. Why is uh, Jody's face always look like he just had a glazed donut? Right. <laughs> oh, dear God. Jody Hawk I didn't the- say it. Oh, yes, there's did. like a million. <laughs> the cadences that are sung while you're running to keep you in staff oh, or when you're yeah. marching. Right, right. There's a million of, of of Jody. Jody's at your crib eating rice and ribs. Oh, oh my. Don't it make you mad? Your kids call him dad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a, yeah. Uh, good stuff. Yeah, real yeah. good. Anyway, I derailed yeah, like, the show what, four what minutes happens, in. What happens if there's somebody at, uh, at basic training whose name is Jody? Are they hated? There's got to be a Jody in the mix once in a while. I bet that's why they picked Jody. We had a dude named Tracy. He got made fun of by the drill sergeants often. So, <laughs> Yeah. I'm Hawk has slept with a Jody. Because I don't think I've ever known a, a gentleman named Jody, and I bet that's why they picked that name, so there's nobody named Jody that gets that side eye. Correct. I've known one. There, there was a poker uh, dealer named Jody here that in the city. That son of a bitch. That, yeah. was, that was the guy. That, that, he was yeah. dealing more than cards. I wonder. <laughs> right. Damn right. He was wheeling Hi, Max. Hey, what's up, Chris? Yeah, you guys never get to see each other, do you? No, we yeah. We uh, we hadn't we hadn't said it for those who just heard that. Yeah, Tommy also good, Tommy. in today. I always enjoy Tommy this overlap. Is Jody. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, Tommy is Jody. Oh, Tommy is Jody. Yeah, yeah. He's probably dated a couple of Jodies. Chris, son of a bitch. Look at you guys, Hi, brother. Look okay. at this reun- uh, reuniting. It's happening right now. Looking good, my man. Good too, brother. The icebreaker is here. Yeah. Look at him, Tommy. John, you sexy John, son Tommy, of a bitch. The icebreaker has a has a. Oh moment. God! Good to be back, guys. Yeah, it's good to see you, man. You're uh, yeah, self imposed. Uh, Let's see those eyes. Exile. As no, well. how about that? So apparently, red uh, pink eyes going around. I know. Well, <laughs> is it, I mean, there's one way to make sure it goes around. <laughs> no, I swear, I swear. One of my coworkers even had it too. Yeah. Well, wait a no. minute. Yeah. 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 Was your coworker's name <laughs> Jody? You call him number four. Right. <laughs> Doesn't take Sherlock Holmes to solve this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So That's you what. had pink eye. Yeah, I sent both eyes. Video. Yeah, you sure did. Just sure my did. right eye. Mm. Yeah. But you get those drops, you're you're back. Yeah, man. Any idea um like uh How? Hi. Hi. Good to see you as well. <laughs> no, they're saying it's going around with the flu. I'm not I don't well, don't I can't, I can't even eye say anything ever. to you guys. I mean, come on. Yeah. It's going around with the yeah. flu. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I we got it. No, no, we know. no, I, <laughs> no one's gonna believe you. <laughs> no, if you look up news, it'll say cold flu and pink eye. And uh, uh, you forgot one syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, pink eye's not too bad. No, yeah. no, you're right. I, yeah, 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 it's just gross. It's yeah, gross, it and gross. you feel like like everyone's like just looking at Everybody your eye. Knows yeah. what you've been up yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Everybody's Especially like, you. Wash your hands after you too, please, sir. <laughs> right? Is it contagious? It's pretty contagious. Oh, yeah. It's oh, tremendously yeah. contagious. Yeah. Super. Yeah. Yeah. How you close know I were wanted... you to a turd cutter that caused? No, I sw- I swear I su- I no you know oh that's that'd be the first time I'm holding back not telling the story yeah. like l- I I I swear because I got that's sick too cutter. yeah yeah but right. no 
I was so disappointed not showing up Monday. Yeah, dude, you missed it the best fun. movie of all and time. I, and, I know, and I know Mondays are tough, so I had to prove it to you guys. That's why I sent the video, that yeah. I was actually down and out. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, and, and we had fun watching that film. Uh, the Crease was the main man. Uh, throwing in some lines here and there. Yeah, all it laugh. got quiet. I wasn't trying to be loud about no, it. That was, I, that, I said the other day, that was the best part of the movie. When you go, man, she's moist. Because well, she, <laughs> he absolutely massacres. Yeah, yeah, he did. Right. She walks into a bloodbath. She's yeah. a cute thing, too. Oh, yeah, she's cute. Oh, yeah. Um, and she just oh, yeah. casually walks around the corner, and she's like, all right, let's peel it out. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. I mean, you can tell. <laughs> Who's the nurse? Who plays the nurse in this one? I forget her name. Yeah. Is she a blondie? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. Uh-uh. no. Like Kathy Bates. Bates. That's the same question. But, uh, how about, <laughs> Hogs Daddy, how about the nurse in the first one, huh? Yeah, ain't no lying. Yeah. Man, that sex scene with Shwayze, holy... It was missing. Hell. I mean, this could have used you. some boots being thrown. Oh, yeah. There was no what? sex scenes? There was one set of boobs. Yeah, and it was. Have you it was seen the Connor, original sex scene? No, I've never seen the yeah, first. The, the there's in the loft. Patrick Tracy got pink eye. Just going around, but he admits <laughs> how he got it. Yeah, he sure did. Yeah, we could see how he got it. He just eyeballed that side. He thought he was looking at a microscope. <laughs> Corey, did you find an article? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, 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 you're not wrong. See? It, it says see? it Come says uh, they've seen an uptick in strep throat cases, pink eye. Uh, seasonal allergies, stomach bugs, and it, more. It doesn't yeah. say that those are all linked, though. It's just saying that there's a higher rate Uptake of them. of all now. of them. Yeah, Correct, yeah. 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 Right. So they're not linked, Tommy. They're it's all not, linked. I mean, <laughs> if you get linked. all of them, then God bless you. <laughs> right, God bless you. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That happens, man. It just it just does happen. Hey, it's going around. It's Today's going the twenty first, though. You can actually you should watch it tonight. I'm going to have my wife watch it. Is it on? Me. Yeah, it's on Amazon Prime. Prime. Yeah, yeah Prime. Oh, really? Today's it, was, day, yeah. Yeah. it was fun. It's yeah, fun. It was fun. It's not winning any Oscars. Yeah, it was a lot yeah. of fun, honestly. It was stupid, but in the funnest possible way. It was, it was the best pos- power power trip movie that we could have seen no, in yeah. the theater. Is it the same concept as like the old one? Yeah, yeah. Same yeah. concept, yeah. yeah. The yeah, non-fighting scenes were pretty All right, messy. you're too heavy. I, bet. I know I'm too heavy. <laughs> now, if, I know everything <laughs> nowadays oh. is... Thank you. Too serious, and it's trying to all be art. I appreciated the fact that this is like, listen, we're not winning any Oscars. Mm. Yeah. People are going to beat the piss out of each yeah. other. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was missing guy. rocks. There yeah. needed yeah. to be some a rocks I was expecting. Yeah. Even not a sex scene, just gratuitous breasts. I would have seen that. For no reason. Yeah. Like in the background no of a fight. Yeah, like right. girls are just making out or something in the well, back. Yeah. Yeah, okay. By the end of the movie, I was like, hey, bartender lady, can you just flop them yeah. out? Just yeah. Yeah. Oh, the that. only nudity was Conor McGregor. Oh, yeah, Correct. we saw him completely nude. Yeah. Yeah. I sent you a picture of his name. <laughs> 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 Then you got pink eyes. <laughs> he could go to acting school for years. He will not be able to walk differently than that. No, they probably tried. The, yeah, just, yeah. You that's have, all. They you probably idea. said, Connor, we need you to walk normal. And he yeah. goes, okay. And it was exactly that. And he's yeah. like, all right. Like, there's something we can do about it. <laughs> we yeah. only have so much time to <laughs> film this His movie. His arms are always out to the side. Yeah. And then when he stops. Yeah. It'd be like, hey, John, could you not limp? No, yeah. sorry. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, Connor McGregor was a coked up maniac. So basically himself. Himself yeah. in the movie. Typecast. Dude's put yeah. together. He is yeah. jacked up. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. And then did you guys see the article I sent on the Power Trip efforts deal? Which one? So I heard, I think I had TMZ oh, on yeah, in the yeah. background yeah, yeah. or something that yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal got, uh, was it a staff? staff he got yeah, staff, staff infection, infection. Yeah. filming, I think that final, final scene. scene. Yeah. He talked about it on Stern. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah, he sure did. He got staff infection and pink eye. Yeah, well, that was Tommy. It's going what? around. It's going around. <laughs> what is staph infection? What's the difference? It's uh, a very serious. I mean, you can lose your limb. It yeah. can kill you. Staph with a pH, not yeah. like your staph uh, is right. infected. Yeah. yeah, he probably got that too. Yeah, you probably have that already. Yeah. You oh. did that at work. You got all the staph <laughs> infected with that pink eye, yeah. <laughs> greasy yeah. bastard. Nice. <laughs> you are a greasy <laughs> bastard. Yeah. yeah, that's the best. Anyway, yeah, I loved it. I thought it was the, fun. The next movie we should do that for is it's the Kong Con- versus yeah. Godzilla. Oh, yeah, yeah, you'll yeah, try yeah. and leave five times. Yeah, yeah I you would, will. Yeah. Did you, you try to poop try. that part? Yeah. yeah, you tried to poop at parties, but don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Yeah. Sauce treated it like my first marriage, just trying to leave, but yeah. he couldn't, though. He'd, he'd get up, he'd go, I'm out of here, and then he'd sit back down. Yeah. He'd get up, nope. I'm... We kept trying to pull him back in. When the 
when the it's revealed that that's her dad, I'm like, ah, I'm out. I can't. Do you this. did. You literally <laughs> stood yeah, up. Yeah. I'm like, that's the part that you find yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, because like two seconds before Hawk goes, that's was it dad. the hungry alligator? No. no. Oh yeah, man. That's oh crazy. man, that, we I thought that's I how you, Connor would go. I did not too. think that yeah. the alligator scene was going to go the way. I did that not either. No, I, did I was not. like, dear God. I loved it. That was the only time it was mentioned or that it happened. Yeah. And then we moved <laughs> on so quickly. Right. Two words. Like, yeah. hold on, we got to like, circle wait, back. What? That's what he does. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Corey, did you go? Are, I did are not. Are you kidding me? Yeah, <laughs> I did not. Have you seen the first one? Uh, I have not. You haven't? I've, no. I haven't either. He's not allowed. Neither of you two have seen it? I've not. No, no, I haven't seen it? seen it yet either. Oh, I've seen the first one 112 yeah. times. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, dude, it's great when he, when the first one, when he kills that guy and just kind of floats him into the water. Yeah, he just oh, yeah. floats him into the water. <laughs> yeah, just uh, this see, is where the body belongs. The first <laughs> one, though, and I've said it on here before, <laughs> when Swayze goes into the back, like the supply room or yeah. whatever... And one of his employees absolutely pouring the For no the reason. For to no him. reason. And he's, and he's like, you're out of here. We don't do this here. That's where you got to have some performance counseling and be yeah. like, listen, were you on your break? <laughs> yeah. If you're on your break, we're good. Was that a coworker? Yeah, right. No? no. Were they in your command chain? Right. No? You're good. Let's talk through We're going to write you up. Don't yeah. do it again. Right. Pour the coals That's on your own time. Do either of you have pink eye? For. Because it spreads, and we don't want right. that. Yeah. Yeah. No. Pink eye and the seasonal flu. Absolutely. And and if I may ask, uh, what number are you, sir? <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> but there's three, at least three, like, hot sex scenes in the first one. So I was expecting There that. are zero in now, this. Now, you know that, I mean, they insinuate that they're, that they're getting it on, but you don't, you don't get to see it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't like insinuating. I like to... Right. Yeah. yeah. Prove it. Let's yeah, verify I, you, like this. It. <laughs> yeah, enough imagination. Right. Get to it. Uh, more of the Power Trip Morning Show after this. A, uh, a special edition of John Creasel. And, of course, Tommy's here because it's Thursday. Ben Lieber's on his honeymoon, so he's not in this week. More of the Power Trip after this on The Fan. The Fan. Hey, good morning. Our new quarterback addressed the media. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Darnold. Very excited about this opportunity. Obviously, we've got great players like Aaron Jones right here. Um, And obviously, our defense is going to be ready to go as well. So, very excited about this opportunity. Very excited to be able to come in here with that fan base and being on the Niners last year, coming in here uh, Monday Night Football. Just seeing how that, uh, how electric that stadium was, um, was pretty exciting, and you know that's just another reason why I'm, you know, very pumped to be here. There you go, Sam Darnold, ladies and gentlemen. Not a bridge, though. Not a bridge. But not a bridge, according to Quazy. Not a bridge. Uh, did you guys see Albert Breer's article in um, SI? Negative. Yeah. I have not yet. So he was talking about uh, picks one through three, right? Chicago, Washington, and New England. All three of those teams need a quarterback. Of course, there's a lot of quarterbacks at the top of this draft. And somebody in his uh, like mailbag was saying, what are the chances the Vikings move up to get either Drake May or J.J. McCarthy? Number five. <laughs> uh, Albert Breer said, quote, teams that have tried to trade into that range, and he's talking again about one through three, right? Teams that have tried to trade into that range have been met with polite no's oh. from the Bears, Commanders, and Patriots. So, of course, that can change, and you yeah. can keep throwing more picks at them to make them change their mm-hmm. mind. But what he was insinuating is basically these three are so locked in at quarterback that it's going to be very hard to get them to move out of there to not have a quarterback. Specifically, number three, right, with the Patriots? Number three. Right. <laughs> then the other question was about number four, which is the Arizona Cardinals, and they probably are going to roll with Kyler. Number four. So that one would be up for grabs. But they're saying they are so locked in on Marvin Harrison that it would take an absolute pile to get them off of four and off of Marvin Harrison. Which, it would be incredibly stupid to even remotely be like, we're listening, because you need... I mean, at this point, you don't want to show your hand. You want to say, no, no, absolutely not. I'm not thinking about it. And then maybe they come back, the Vikings come back and say, we'll throw in next year's first also. you do. I mean, you want to wait until desperation deeply sets in, or yeah. maybe someone jumps the Vikings and says, we'll give you, obviously, this year's first doesn't really count because it's a, a swap. swap. We'll give you the next three because we're so desperate. You never know. I would. Yeah, I think... 
When it comes to this, though, and of course, you know, it's negotiating one on one, right? You don't give them your best deal right away unless you're me, and then you just sign on the dotted line and move <laughs> on, right? Right, sure. Tommy? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> but the Vikings have, I think, the best hand because teams would rather have draft picks in this draft. For and sure. 23 is, is a pretty hot commodity, would be my guess. Well, then you move to five, and then, you know, if it's McCarthy or Drake May, that's number at five. five. It might cost you a little less, right? You're not giving up three mm-hmm. first-round picks then to go to five, so this might be in the Vikings' favor if McCarthy or Drake May is their guy and McCarthy or Drake May is there at five. Number five. Can I bring up a thought? No. I would love if you brought <laughs> up yeah. a yes. thought. Let's hear it. Like, May and McCarthy, in my head, are not much better than like the next tier, like Pinnix and all those guys. Mm-hmm. Why not draft a D-lineman go. at 11, and then back at 23, we get like, Whoever's left at quarterback. And then we ride with Darnold. Oh, boy. We riding dirty? What's the difference between Purdy and Darnold? You guys tell me that. Well, I, well Purdy is good. Yeah, Purdy's good. <laughs> oh. Darnold's good. I'm telling you, Darnold's good. The smile oh, on Corey's God. face when he said I that, mean, though, was there. Yeah. <laughs> Purdy just put up numbers that yeah. we've essentially never seen a Niners quarterback put up. Think about that for a second. Right. Mm-hmm. And Sam Darnold has failed on, what, three different teams? He had, that he's four, he had four all-pro guys with, with him. If we could load up with our – now we'll have a great big old salary cap. We could load up our squad. Let's just get studs all around him, and then Darn will just go out there. You know, they were on the same team, right? And the coach every week said, yeah. I would rather have Brock Purdy throw than Sam Darnold. Same yeah, team. that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> but if we can, I hope you're right about Darnold because yeah. I don't want to watch 17 games without a chance to win. And uh, I don't think Sam Darnold gives us a great chance yeah, to win. So let's true. hope that he greatly outplays everybody's <laughs> expectations. In our entire life of Vikings fandom. Mm-hmm. One thing we have lacked is stability at quarterback. I mean, truly, yeah. we had it for a minute with Dante. Dog. And Dog. then he basically yeah. drove over an IED. Oh. And, then, <laughs> and then it was an absolute salad of Spurgeon wins and so and so and so and so. so it was Coom it's Dog. a Coom Dog even. <laughs> then we get Kirk. And that was the thing I loved the most about Kirk. Very good quarterback. (laughs) We had stability, which is the most important position in the NFL, and you need stability at it. We need that. What I don't want is this to turn into an almost Case Keenum situation where I thought for sure, and many of us thought, they were going to roll with Keenum moving forward after that at a higher salary than he would have deserved. And we would have been in the same exact spot. Yeah. And that was a pretty good team around him. I remember we had Bradford when he was just slinging it. Oh, well, <laughs> and, and, and yeah. he, that knee. If he, if, think oh, of, if he was stayed healthy, we'd oh, probably still have him. He was so freaking good. Yeah. I am fine. You know, last year, you would love this. You would love this. My, my friend Fraz and Merck. Oh, those are Fraz and Merck? Merck. <laughs> We were debating 98 versus 09, player by player. Oh, it's not even close. 09, 09 would have won the Super Bowl. 98, I don't think, would oh, have. Oh, it's 98. Oh, no. I take 98 it's, every it's time. It's captivating no, stuff. No, I'm telling that, you, we were, we were going back and forth. That defense, that defense in 98 was very good because they were always playing from ahead. The Atlanta Falcons <laughs> were a less good version of the Denver Broncos. A solid defense, power running game. Awesome quarterback. What? And Here, so Tommy, they, it's this easy though. Here, yeah. let's let's go back and forth between the two teams, and then we'll settle this debate. Okay, I know right? What he's gonna say. Ninety-eight. Randy Moss. Uh, case closed. Right. End of Correct. debate. It's over. Correct. It doesn't matter. The rest defense. of it. Defense. Shot down Randy the Moss. best offense in the NFL on the road. I'm with Crease on this. I don't oh. think it would have wow. been close. No, they it's ninety-eight. Piss pounded. I, I don't it? know. I think it's they would have lost. They would have lost. It's the to best the offense of all time, except you know they're one they of the best. One offense. player that was the best offense of all time. That's uh, it. The offensive line is ten thousand. The, right, the ninety eight so offensive 09. line is better than 09. 09 I, right, had a fantastic got, offensive there's line. There's there's an argument to be had about the O line and the D line, right? Because we got Randall, your guy, right? Yeah. But and then that you got was the Williams with them. You got the Williams wall, and you got Jared Allen. Yeah. I and like, Ray Edwards on the other side. Don't on. forget about Ray. And what about Trust that me, I don't forget field? about Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Antoine Winfield. Calm down. You had, <laughs> Logan, how dare you rip Ben Lieber like that, I'm you sh- son of a bitch. I was standing up for 09. Okay, good. Yeah. Def- but like the linebackers, you got to go 09. I've seen D-backs, s- D-backs is the only the position that you can say absolutely was because of Randy Moss. But receivers. Yeah, right. That's it. That's it. 
Running there back. There were two oh, close nine. games the 98 Vikings played in. They were 0-2 in those games. Brett Favre. Wake up. <laughs> You're going Favre all day at quarterback. So just go position by yeah. position. Quarterback, yes. Running yeah. back, yes. O-line. Robert the, Smith. The, the coin. defense. Oh, they You're I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. you are taking AP. D-line, DNs, no, linebackers. They. I, it's... I mean, I'm taking Winfield. Look at that box score. You Look might, at the box score. You might be right. It's hard. It's not as a yeah. big slam dunk because knee jerk reaction. I thought Moss. I thought all the highlights. I grew Chris up watching. Carter. Yeah. I think slam dunk 09. You I'm right serious. You. The I'm 98 with you. team it's polarizing was, stuff. Was all yeah, right. was all flashy. I'm with you. Right. I'm with you. You Man, took away Randy Moss, you were done. It's not. It's a good argument, isn't it? Sauce, a, don't let them change it, your it's mind. A, but you it's a just, very good argument. You just play Madden, you line up four wide, and you chuck it to Moss, and you win the Super Bowl. But you can I argue the same thing about reality. AP. You can say the thing about AP in 09. AP went off in 09. And That's right. could not True. hold on to the ball. It was... That was the only or thing. Or put on a condom. Or really? yeah. hey, he's allergic what? to latex. Hey, that, brother. Brother. Not going to judge him for that you one. Heard that, brother. You, yeah, you, man. I've he never in it. my life <laughs> seen a team turn the ball over five times and still say Correct. they should have absolutely yes. yeah. still won the game on I mean, the road against that, the best offense but, in the NFL. But, yeah. So the week before, the 9 team destroyed Arizona. No, nope. oh yeah, the, the, the '98 week, team. The, they destroyed no. Arizona in '09. They destroyed the Cowboys, Cowboys right? Yep. Yeah, man. I mean, either the teams can finish. We just leave it at that. Who had right? best better special teams? Oh, oh, '98. Anderson, right? Yeah. Gary Anderson, yes. Well, and a superstar Mike that, Morris. Yeah, and I would have made that and long star. snapping. Oh nine. I would have. Percy that. Harvin took how oh, many to the Percy. house? Yeah, you can't forget about, about Percy. Per- yeah, right. The Swiss Army knife, man. Think of that. That yeah, team, I'm, I'm, that I'm is the, I will say, never so love who the was Vikings their third? more than the that. The Williams Wall? Yes. Son of a bitch. They so was it Jake everything. Reed? Was he not the number yes. three on that and, team? Yeah. Uh, Matthew Hatchett. It's, I know, is it, it's absurd to say you're taking Percy over Chris Carter. Maybe. No, Chris no, Carter. Carter you get it near Chris Carter. him. No, Chris Carter. He was coming down with it. But Percy's more dynamic. The wide receivers in 98 are better than the wide receivers in 09. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, Jake Reed at three, Matthew Hatchett solid at four. And don't forget the Who's greatest the receiver end? of all time, in my opinion, dropped a touchdown in the in the ninety eight NFC championship Mostin? game. Yes. Wow. Right in the hands. Otherwise, they don't need that field goal. Who's the tight over. end in ninety eight? Or did you even need Hawk one? Ninety eight? Uh um, was it Andrew Glover? It. No. Yeah, it was Andrew Glover. Andrew Glover. There you go. Good. And then who I don't home? remember what I had who for breakfast yesterday, 09? but I know that whole oh, 09? It was uh, Shanko. Shanko, yeah, Shanko, man. Shanko was yeah. good. Craig, he, he had a good season that year. Shante Craig, he did. Yeah, That man. baby's <laughs> arm. Yeah, he was pulling that anchor everywhere. Yeah, he <laughs> was. <laughs> Sports. <laughs> Yeah, look at us! We had a debate. Look at us. That, that was an wow. old school sports I love that. debate. We did it, guys. Well done, guys. We did it, and we didn't Way settle on anything. Yeah, Frozen and Merc. That was for Way to go, Frozen and Merc. Oh, man. I love wearing a Merc. <laughs> By the way, if you get into a car accident it's a and you're game. injured, call okay, Frozen and Merc. <laughs> No, uh, do not call Fraz and Merck. <laughs> Front page sports when the Power Trip Morning Show returns. We got a couple of weird ones in uh, in sports and an absolute ass kicking in California last night if you went to bed early. Power Trip returns after this on The Fan. The Fan. You just missed a really good phrase during the break, uh, Chris oh, Hockey Lordy, and Max. Lordy. Uh, we were talking about the uh, 98 uh, team versus 09 still in. <laughs> Crystal just described the ni- or the uh, 09 squad and said afterwards he calmly shattered a glass in his sink. <laughs> I did. And after you that. You learned from 98. Yes. I made so a you promise. you did it. That I will never, and I promise you, I will never be that invested in a sporting event. I love the Vikings. Yeah. I have a Vikings tattoo on my arm. I want the best for them. I enjoy it. It's a fun distraction from life. It's the best. But in 09, I felt slightly out of control. After that, <laughs> after the the Saints won it, I went in there and... Calmly. Calmly. And my, down, <laughs> my downstairs bar, yeah. Corey, you've seen it. Mm-hmm. And the, my stepsons at that time were like, they were like, this is so devastating or whatever. And I was holding it together for them. And I was like, you know what, boys? It's all good. Because <laughs> this is what they do. This is Minnesota yeah. sports. Yeah. And I was like, it's totally fine. And then my ex-wife walked in and I said, you know what else? And I like, took where the, have you been? I had a Timberwolves glass <laughs> oh. and I tossed it in well, the why, sink. Why was it a Timberwolves glass? Because that's what I was holding. Misery loves company. I yeah, didn't have a Vikings glass. 
So I threw it in that sink, and it shattered. Mm-hmm. And I was calmly. like, it's all calmly. And then <laughs> she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> and, I, and I was like, it's fine. And I started brushing, you know, a couple of the shards of glass, like, mm-hmm. got out of there. So I was brushing it back into the sink. I was like, mm-hmm. totally fine. And then she's like, you're bleeding. And I looked, and my hands oh, sure. were, were bleeding. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. all good. Were the like, boys were out of the no room pain. at that time. It, was, it sounds more dramatic than it yeah. was, but after that. That's fantastic. Like the 2017 season. Yeah, it's yeah. it's awesome, but it is not real life. So, All right, let's do front page sports because we yeah, got some fun ones. These are some interesting <laughs> yeah. ones today. We'll start with uh, one that's uh, standard, and then we'll get into the crazy stuff. Time now for front page sports presented by Holiday Station Stores. Holiday Station Stores, you can buy two, get one free when it comes to Red Bull. Those 8.4 ounce uh, Red Bull cans, you buy two, Holiday gets you the third one for free. Yeah! That's right. Holiday, go to holiday. Drink Found another holiday yesterday. Another, oh yeah, a top newer tenor. One. Uh, yeah, I'd put him. I, I mean, it's close. It. So I, I had to go way up north to Crosby. I'm no, 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 no. Jesus, <laughs> so loud. Um, no, but I was driving up back roads. And driving on, driving on. Yeah, you know, dude, that's how you get pink eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Right. Oh, did you get Cos- Cosby and Crosby? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's a no. T-shirt. So, we're, and, uh, it, I hope not. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't think the town's yeah. going to love that. Yeah. It's in Deerwood. It's mm-hmm. a, it's a, Oh, yeah, man, I've been there. Quit it, rubbing your eye. I'm so, and, uh. Deerwood, Minnesota, and yeah. it, ha- it has. It looks like a log cabin. Nice little. That's all I wanted to a say. A log cabin yeah. holiday. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. And then yeah. I stopped at the Royalton one on the way home. Of course, yeah, right. You, you, you have to. It's the best one. All, all right. It was late city. last night, but it went the wrong way pretty quickly. The Kings dismantle the Wild six nothing. Oof. Three goals in the first. Three goals in the second. Uh, they ran Flurry out of there oh. midway through the second. He gave up five goals. Gus gave up the other one. What happened? Uh, they got rocked. <laughs> is what happened. So. Was it a uh, a devastating loss? Yeah, kind of, right? But Vegas didn't play. But here's the bad news, right, is uh, now, even though the Wilds still remain just three points behind Vegas for the final wild card spot in the West with, uh, with Vegas having 79 and the Wild having 76, but now Vegas has two games in hand. So the Wild have 12 games left. Uh, they do have a six-game homestand, though. So for the Wild, the final 12 games goes six games at home, then five on the road, and then they close back here at home against Seattle. So six, five, and one. That's those are streaky Very. stands the rest of the way. Uh, two of the games are against Las Vegas. One at uh, home, one on the road. Oh, greasy. Vegas has fourteen games Greece. left, so it's going to be extremely <laughs> tough. You you have to win both games against Vegas, and 100%. you have to win both games in regulation. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's going to be fun down the stretch. At least they they've made it a lot more interesting. Uh, how long ago were we saying no oh, chance? Yeah. It's over. Yeah, about a week. Well, ago. let's just mm-hmm. hope the uh, the game on April twelfth when we're in Las Vegas at uh, Vegas that that game actually matters. It might. Hell yeah, man. We'll see. Are you guys going? So I was driving along. <laughs> driving along. <laughs> driving along. <laughs> uh, <laughs> currently, the San Diego Padres are playing the Los Angeles Dodgers in uh, Seoul, South Korea. Right now, it's five to two. It's fun for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's, it's weird to have yeah, live baseball at five squad. o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's um, and John squad. The pitcher that the Dodgers yes. paid three hundred and twenty-five million dollars for this uh, Yamamoto. Gave up five runs in the first and got pulled. He just got warmed up. <laughs> got a, rocked in his debut. He had an eight-something ERA in the spring. See, now the Twins can say, this is why we don't spend money. Oh, God. What, what if? Where is he from? Is he is He's a he Japanese like a pitcher? Japanese? Yeah. Is it Lakes what, Creed? What if? <laughs> <laughs> Great point. Oh, we can't play it. What if he's the biggest bust in the history of sports? How much Isn't it weird? Pay? I've never seen him before this morning. Right, I'd heard the name. I remember hearing the story. Some but kind of bust. What if? I love a good boss. This is just one of the most epic failures in the history of sports. He's pitched one inning and it didn't go yeah. well, but isn't that weird? Yeah. It's 325 mil. Does and the I, Twins I, pay anyone? No. Like the oh, whole God, team? No. Oh, God, no. Come on. Literally like the whole no. team, 325. The Twins passed oh, that much no. a guy no. yesterday, a pitcher that they need because... They passed him finally? These Glafonle is... No, bless you? <laughs> yeah. God bless you. Because this hurt love, no and, might, and might be brilliant. It might be out the whole season. Some guy signed with the Texans for like $4 million and they were like, nah, we're good. They don't care. Like, they're going to spend that kind of money, right? Hmm. Oh, I heard this morning that there's like no 
They can't get out of the contract. There's like no escape route. I mean, they could cut him, but they have to pay him in full, right? There's we have no baseball contracts. No, but like, but like some of them have like you an know, out clause like or a an player out clause. option. Like yeah, but there's that's none of after that. a few years. Yeah, yeah, there's none of that. So, Corey, next Thursday you guys are in Ti. The following Thursday, mm-hmm. April fourth, home opener, three ten first pitch. You guys want to go? No thanks. No, I don't think John and I are allowed. No, there. I think I'm selling my four, oh, four games this year that I because I had already agreed to buy a certain number of tickets. But the, the no, stadium is phenomenal. Piss it is. It's great. Them. And now yeah. with the new pitch count, John, I think John and I, I was start on fire. I was lied to. There. I was no, but you like blink. It's the seventh to. inning already. It's great. You're I in your house. Right. I'm making it to the seventh inning. <laughs> yeah. No thanks. Going yes, up, zero. No. As, as Chloe would say, um, no thanks. <laughs> so back to Shohei Otani for a second because it's fascinating. By the way, yeah. the Padres now up seven to two. Yes. Uh, Shohei Otani's interpreter was fired. <laughs> Stay with us if you haven't read this story. This is a fascinating one. Stude's 39 years old. He's been his friend now for years and interpreter for years. Uh, there were questions about $4.5 million in wire transfers that came from Otani's bank account to a bookmaking operation. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Let's go. Uh, according to multiple sources, <laughs> Otani is not the one gambling. It's the interpreter. Sure. That's the story, yeah. at least. And according to reports, uh, this interpreter was betting on international soccer games and other sports, but not baseball since 2021. Um the interpreter was getting paid by Otani somewhere between three hundred thousand and five hundred thousand a year. That's not enough what? to pay four point five million in gambling nope. debts. So it sounds like Otani took care of it. But this guy, ESPN, has this giant uh, investigative piece yeah. oh. on this story that was going to break uh, yesterday, and then it did break, and the guy got fired. Oh. The guy is quoting. <laughs> this is the best. Yeah, <laughs> this this should be on most of our tombstones. The Power Trip Morning Show. <laughs> Here's what the interpreter said. said, I'm terrible at gambling. Never going to do it again. Never won any money. Hi. He is the reason that they have the When the Fun Stops brochure on the slot machine. He's not the one gambling. I think he is. No, he's not. Not Uh, Give me me the evidence that you think uh, that it's Otani. Wait, so I just... You think that this guy who's been his best friend and yesterday was on the field with him and all this, and all of a sudden it's like, I just don't think. I think there's more to the story. I don't have any evidence yet, Corley. 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 <laughs> but I'm, t- I'm just saying, there's more to this story. There might be more to this story, but uh, I don't know. Just saying. Uh, anyway, it's it. the guy basically said... He claims he's going to pay Otani back. How do you, even if you had $300,000 a year? IOUs. Right. Yeah. They're just How are you ever going to pay him back four point five million dollars? Who's he going to be an interpreter for now? Like, right? Someone extremely rich. No, it's one hundred percent. Show. I, I'm. I'm with you. I'm with Saucy. Oh it's, my! It's Shohei. He did it all of it, and he's the fall guy. He's like, I'll. I'll yeah, pay, we I'll never pay landed on the moon. If that is the case, that's a great best. One day he's I'll the fall pay, guy. Yeah. One day I'll pay you. That's a great best friend. If that Why is would the a guy case? that with that at seven hundred million dollars need to? He's got to feel it. Why do we? Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. Was that for sure his best friend? Stop. It's one of his better friends. It sounds okay. like they. Well, it's his best friend. It, it yeah. sounds like they were inseparable because he had to be basically anywhere Shohei Otani had gone the last, you know, whatever handful of years because he he has to be there to help him. If they were inseparable, twenty four hours a day. Do interpreters bring it in like that? I, I don't. I think the top ones do, uh, but I don't, I don't think. And I think he was doing other stuff for Shohei, aside from possibly not like placing the these bets. But yeah, I think he was like running to the grocery store for. He's basically kind of just like an all-purpose guy. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys ever see the story about the gal who did sign language at government events, like oh, yeah. press conferences, and? She was making it up. Oh, yeah. So, I've seen oh, yeah. 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 Just and completely it's making like it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's, it's great. unbelievable. I know. Shouldn't that have been one time? Yeah, right. someone's going to be like, right. one person from the deaf community goes, what is none that? of that what is, is this? American Sign Language. Yeah. She should have been fired after the first right. time. Correct. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just. I love this quote so much. I'm terrible at gambling. Never going to do it again. Never won any money. That does sound... Just a straight arrow pointing right at the ground. Never won. Now, if you were going to jump on the grenade for Shohei, that would be the quote you would say. You'd be like, suck at gambling. I'm very sorry. Right. Never doing it again. 100%. But I still think you guys are high. So, okay. yeah, because 
why would he need to hide if he's not betting on baseball? If it's international soccer and other sports, but not baseball, why would Otani need to hide it? He's allowed to gamble. He doesn't want to be caught. He doesn't want people to know that he watches soccer. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, Hawk went to a game. We should talk about that, Hogs. I want to know how it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We should talk about it. Why? What? 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 More of uh, the show after this, including what really matters and. So the, uh, the Otani scandal was kind of fun. The Wolves have an interesting one as well. What we'll happened? go through that one if you haven't heard that one after this on The Fan. The Fan. Hogs Daddy. Yes, sir. I heard you talk about Margaritaville yesterday. Yeah, I know, man. How sad. Silver Tommy. And dude, we're we're going out there right before closing. When does it actually I, I heard May first, and you guys heard April fifteenth. No, May first is when Uber and Lyft are pulling out. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I read uh, April fifteenth on the uh, news story yesterday. So I only Son of a I know, man. That's I know. So sad. It's so sad. You and Dov gotta go one more time. I know, and I'm out there the weekend after that. What? APS yeah, from <laughs> It's for Merck, the guy I was talking about earlier. It's his batch. I'm supposed to call him now if uh, what happens? What do I do with Froz and Merck? Well, they... they you, if they you have wanted... trouble, right? Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, that's right. If I get no, into they an wanted accident, to know who is better, 98 or 09. And right. We still can't figure it out. Well, I think we had it pretty much done. Yeah, I think yeah. the world may never know. Uh, <laughs> let's, do, uh, let's do what really matters. That's what really matters, right? Let's go. S O M A K. We're gonna go with Somak, maybe Somak Sarkar, a now former Wolves employee who's 33 years old, was fired and arrested and charged with third degree burglary after allegedly stealing thousands of internal files from the Timberwolves, including quote strategic NBA information. That's worthless. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're getting them confused with the twins. <laughs> is this is why we've been always been bad? No, so this just happened what? recently. So on, on Feb 2nd, Sachin Gupta, who works for the Wolves as well, left a hard drive connected to a laptop in his office, had his financial information on it, and then a whole bunch of private team info as well. He comes back on February 5th, hard drive's missing. Surveillance video. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Surveillance. Duh. Yeah. Surveillance saw this guy, Somak Sarkar, looking around before he went into his office twice. So it wasn't hard to figure it out. Then they went to his house and they found the hard drive and he said he had to put some things on it. Yeah, right, that he means. did. Yeah. 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 I heard that. It wasn't the only thing that was hard. Yeah. So, <laughs> so he, is, uh, he has been fired and uh, was stealing stuff from the wolves. Wow. wonder what he was doing. Greasy. I what he's doing. Is he a mole for another organization? It's got to be. Maybe. I yeah. wonder. What if was he the doing? losing the playoffs, this is exactly what we're blaming <laughs> it on, it? boys. <laughs> <laughs> what if he was working? Hang on, stay with me. Go ahead. What if he was working for Chris Hockey and the, quote, strategic NBA information was like, somebody needs to tell me what the team in Charlotte is called. <laughs> and this guy stole the hard drive. Yeah. Took right. the information home, looked it up, and then told Chris, apparently it's the Hornets again. Yeah. yeah. Is there still a team in Seattle? That's exactly right. right. Yeah. 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 I'm tired of Corey asking me which right. team yeah. Zion Williamson yeah. plays right. for. Is so Chris now has thousands of files. <laughs> That's right. I sure do. And you paid Somak Sarkar for, uh, for information. I sure did. And I, I was, by the way, I was paid by somebody else to hire him. And I've, I'm using my money to cover my gambling debt, <laughs> just like uh, the interpreter. And if you're another team, that's what, it, it sounds like it's this big conspiracy. Clearly, this guy's touched. He is, <laughs> there, there was no big plan. And if he reached out to another team, was like, listen, I stole the analytics of the Wolves. What, do you want it? What are you gonna? They'd be like, go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're good. No thanks. Yeah. It's, are you going to pay me for yeah, it? It's not like this is secrets to our new battleship that we're building, you know? It's like, mm -hmm. no. It's Put funny, the though. ball in the hole. Right? <laughs> yeah. yep. God, Hawk hates yeah. uh, What really matters, though, is this. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't hate it. It's just not his cup of it's tea. It's just not my thing. That's right. Uh, we, um, we lost an actor. His name is M. Emmett Walsh. Now, here's the thing about M. Emmett Walsh. If you looked him up right now, you'd say, oh, yeah, that guy. Because he was in about a million films. Uh, in Fletch, he was the doctor who uh, 
um, when Fletch goes, Moon River. That's, oh, great that's him. In Slapshot, he's the, uh, the, the sports writer. And um, let's see what. Uh, um, he's in The Jerk as well. Yeah, the Jerk, he's the guy who hates those cans. That's, God, what a great scene that is. So Holy many smokes. movies. And, and also. Knives uh, Out. Yeah, knives Out. Uh, Christmas with the Cranks. He's the, uh, the angry neighbor across the street whose wife uh, uh, is, is sick. Christmas with the Cranks. That's Tommy's favorite movie, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it. I gotta see that. Every holidays with the Cranks in Tommy's <laughs> household. Oh, he was in Critters. Yeah, he was in Critters. He was and, in Harry and the Hendersons. Exactly yeah. right. So he's been in a million movies. You'd see his face. Uh, you would know him. Born in 1935, died at the age of 88 years old. I wonder yeah. how He's well those... Harry and the Henderson. Hey. He's still acting until the very end. Just just said that. That. I literally like just said that. Was he Sorry. good looking when he was younger? Yes. Okay. Do you, do you think those uh, spots pay well? Uh, it's a good question. I mean, I, I, it's totally. a great. I wonder if he was a millionaire, but I, I'm looking at his list of movies that he was in. He started acting in movies in 1969 in Holy Alice's smokes. Restaurant. Holy Crazy. And Midnight Cowboy. And a, and Have you guys seen Blade Runner? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Is it it's good? A, it's a really good movie. How yeah. fun would it be, I've though, just seen it. to be in that spot where you're these small parts yeah. in a bunch of movies? That'd be the best. You don't have to, like, get chiseled like Jake Gyllenhaal. Right. You don't have to, like, devote your life to sure. it. Yeah. It'd be fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Character actor. So, and he did a, so he started in 1969. And he did a film this year before he passed away. Jeez. That crazy. is a hell of a run, man. Yes, it is. And he was in an, a, a bajillion TV shows as well. Oh, yeah. I didn't even look at that. Holy moly. Starsky and Hutch. X-Files. Scooby-Doo. I mean, yeah. How fun would it be just to be a small part of all these different iconic franchises? Yeah. yeah. So there you go. Hmm. All right. Thank you, funny man. Yeah. Rest in peace. Tommy, when was your last year with the Gophers? 14. 14. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I'm so glad that's the <laughs> number. So the Vikings have two new players, linebacker Jihad Ward, mm -hmm. and I believe he's a linebacker, right? Kamu Grugier Hill? Don't know how to say his name. No idea. I was hoping you remembered because uh, they're both turning 30 in May, so they're both going to be 30 by the time the uh, this season starts. Uh, Jihad Ward has played for uh, the Raiders, the Colts, the Ravens, the Jags, the Giants, 18 career sacks in 102 games. We'll see, right? Whatever. Last uh, season with the Giants, 20, uh, 24 tackles in 17 games. Whatever. Yeah. The other kid, though, don't know how to say his name. K A M U. We're going to go with Kamu, maybe? Yeah, I think that's right. Grugier Hill. Or yeah. Grugier Hill. Right. G R U G I E R dash Hill. Okay. Mm -hmm. He, like I said, is turning 30 as well. Played last year with the Panthers. In his career, he has six sacks, three interceptions, four uh, forced fumbles. Okay. Tommy, on his Wikipedia page, though. Yep. In 2014, he played for Eastern Illinois. Did you play? Oh, yeah. In that game. First game of the year. Check this out. He was ejected from that game when he punched a gopher lineman in the groin. Oh, my God. Do you Who remember this it? guy? Yeah. Yeah, he, okay, he's yeah. now a Viking. You remember this Wait, story? It wasn't your groin, right? No, he'd, he'd have to be surgical with that punch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were in the flip. Yeah, he, was a, he was a sixth round pick in 2016, oh but in 2014, God. he was believed to be the first college football player of the year to be ejected when he punched a gopher lineman in the groin. Tell us about it. It was, I, I don't, I, all I remember, I mean, it's just like it just flashed in my eyes when you mm -hmm. said it, but I remember someone getting kicked out and I didn't know why. And no one really knew why. And then it came out after, like, like, after the play, like we went to the sidelines, he said it was, he punched someone right in the... Got a deep yeah. punch. I, I oh. So they were wearing a cup then. They had to be wearing a cup. No, none of the old linemen were. Like, well, then the how did them. how did they not say, he punched me in my penis? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> because when he was kind of going, it was kind of, I, I think they bar. were just kind of going and it looked like, I think it looked a lot worse than it actually was. So I, the only reason, I, I didn't think it was you because I thought we would have heard this story by now, but I'm like, what are the chances that Tommy was still on that team and he was the one that got punched in the but D? what about Ed? It might have been Big Eddie. No, 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 Eddie was gone. Yeah. But I remember so, they, they were selling out. They were blitzing like every play. Eastern was, Illinois? Yeah, that was our blitzing first time. Blitzing those year. groins. <laughs> Sick <laughs> we, we beat them, though. Right. What, what year Good. was he? Did, did that was 14. 2014. And so what year in college were you? I was a senior. Oh, I'm sorry. I, yeah. I thought for no, some you said you were fresh. God, it's good. Yeah, look at that. Look at you, But so now man. he's a Viking. And he'd like to say this to you. Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> that was 10 years ago? 10 years ago. God, I'm old. Yeah, that happens. You got yeah!
I was 21 when you first met me. Yeah, I know, adorable. Dude. I know, you really yeah. were. Man, I've really matured and grown up, haven't yeah, I? Yeah, dude. For sure. <laughs> yeah, you have. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Let me we tell you now. Mention that, dude. 20, I'll say this, man. 21-year-old Tommy would have had pink eye in both eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and admitted how he got it. <laughs> yeah. Step in the right direction. That's right, man. You're growing up. <laughs> uh, what really matters, though, is this. Uh, oh, thanks, Carl. That made my day. That is yeah. really something, man. Weird, what, right? That's, that that's just crazy. Hmm. I don't know if he's good. I've never heard of him before. Yeah, yeah I have any no idea. idea. Apparently, there was a, um, looks like a computer video game called The Guy Game. Never heard of it. Let me see. It might be the a movie. The Guy Game. Anyway. The leisure Suit Larry? Uh, they, oh, classic. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's too, uh, yeah, it's too much for me. Yeah, I couldn't get out of the first <laughs> I, I, level. I, it pissed me off so much. Yeah. I, could, I couldn't find a way out of this Oh my God, I, never, I remember this game. I've, I've seen the cover of this game. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's if you own this video game, what's it called? Throw it in the trash. The guy, guy game. The guy game on Xbox. It uh, turns out one of the ladies in the game wasn't of age. Ooh. Oh my yes. god! Yeah. All right. Yeah, the most dangerous game. How simply owning one title for your PS2, Xbox, or PC could get you arrested. All right, X out of that. Wait, How there was about, actual nudity in this game? Uh, video game that people in a PlayStation Two game? Uh, no, no. Um, uh, um, oh yeah! It, uh, so the game's development was led by former Metroid Prime developer Jeff Sp Spangenberg, yeah, <laughs> who sought to create an interactive game with appeal to men, inspired by the Girl Gone, Girls Gone Wild series yeah, right? of pornographic videos. Uh, accumulate bonus points for a meter titled the Flash Meter. Okay, that progressively removes censorship of footage. Jesus. Interesting. Okay, I've never him. heard of this. Never seen this. Never heard they, of this. They had never everybody sign a, a age verification form, but uh, somebody lied. Yikes. Yeah, well, at least they were, I mean, you think that they could have maybe done a little more research, mm -hmm. but at least it wasn't knowing, knowingly, you know? Mm. Yeah, oh, I've yeah, never heard of that this. game. Listen to this. One of the girls filmed for the guy game didn't find out just how prominent her role was in the game until after it hit shelves. And she was informed by her brother who had been playing the game. Oh, no. 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 There's no Jeez. turning back there. Yep. No. It's over. Yikes. Yep. Yucky. Yeah, I remember this was Yikes. right around the time that that was starting to sort of become a thing. Yeah, like there was Leisure Shoot Larry, like Crystal just mentioned. There was a, I think there was like a Playboy game. There was a bunch of games that were just trying to be basically porn. Yeah. Huh. Which is okay as long as everybody's of age. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, right. I mean, I yeah. guess. Yeah. 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 Sure. It's a pretty basic standard, I think. That yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that you, Sandy? Oh. <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> oh, God. Was there ever a Grease video game? There never has been, has there? That one was Greasy. No, the movie Grease. There was a oh, Grease slot so. machine. There was. Was there? Was there? Yes, How sir. not played that? There, well, is, there it, actually is, though. It was like 2014. Really? Yes, for the Nintendo DS and the Wii. Wow. My God. Look, did you see the name of the publishing company? No. The, uh, the trial in Texas was <laughs> Top Heavy Studios versus Doe. <laughs> Oh my Jeez. God! That's what I was going to name my movie studio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the trial and appeal did not resolve the question as to whether Top Heavy had uh, produced child pornography in violation of obscenity laws under the Texas Penal Code. Probably not a great sign if you if your no. studio's Top name is <laughs> Top Heavy Studios. That's a great LinkedIn header, right? <laughs> CEO Top <laughs> Heavy Studios. That's where I want to record my next record. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Chris, you've been here six months. We have no songs right. from you. Yeah, what <laughs> are you doing? I'm in there? trying to write a good one. <laughs> I need a muse. A couple of inches of snow tonight, uh, but uh, that's just uh, leading you up to Sunday where we're talking about eight inches at probably at least. Well, but how about uh, if you look all the way ahead to next Friday when we're broadcasting at Treasure Island Resort and Casino? My uh, my weather app says 54 degrees yep, next Friday. That's what I'm oh, saying. Really? Yeah. So whatever whatever quick. snow we get in the next three or four or five days. It'll go. Quick. We'll be gone by this time next week. I mean, it's not going to last, but it's going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah. But even talking to Greenway yesterday, man, uh, off the air, a, a lot of farmers want this because we need moisture. We yeah. need some uh, yeah. rain Moisture's or good. snow, and there's a lot of snow. So I think some oh. people are actually cheering for this.
I, what, what am I going to care? I'm going to be indoors doing the yeah. same thing anyway. Right. He's got a snowplow three times. That's fine. Yeah, you don't play MLB the show outside. No, yes. oh, I don't. No. <laughs> uh, more What Really Matters after this on The Fan. The Fan. The great John Creasel is here. The Yo. great Tommy Olsen is here. Best day of the week, times two now. Hey, you know all these music beds kind of sound like somebody, but yeah. they can't technically be somebody. When this one's a no-brainer, right? That we're dead. Yes, oh, okay. correct. Yeah. Are we still on the That's no music That's not what I would have said, but yeah, this sounds like L7. I think this sounds like ZZ Top. No, I think it sounds like the Hawk bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, right. right. You got the two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, that one died high. high uh. God, yeah, ZZ yeah. Top of Wales. Whales? Oh, man. They're playing the surf sometimes. Right? Hold a hog in my own. No, no that, wait. That sounded like Michael McDonald. <laughs> you wish. I don't even Billy know why Gibbons would you wish is that. here. <laughs> That's the lead singer Wh- of Which one stuff. passed away? Uh, Dusty. Passed away. <laughs> oh. Dusty, the bass player. <laughs> How's Dob? Dob doing good? He passed away as well. Dob has a new job at uh, Top Heavy Studios. <laughs> he does. Yeah. Poor Dob. Is Dob going out to Vegas? Of course. Well, but, thank God he is. Nobody else is. I know. The yeah. hell, uh, This is the worst power trip Vegas trip ever. Half of you are not coming and, with, and Dob is. And Rosie won't come, come down <laughs> Whoa. to Whoa. the... Oh. Rosie won't show up. Yeah, of course what's, he will. What's, what's that story? I bet three months mortgage yeah, that he does. He's, well, my he's dad's going to be gonna there. Well, he's, he's, there's, he's staying at Circa. Leave Rosie alone, yeah. Red Hawk. Can't stay with the peasants like the rest of us. I don't blame he, him. He's, he's Mark Rosen. He's going to go down to the uh, downtown area and stay yeah. at Circa. You think he's going to have two power trip shows, 3.30 to 7, with a packed Buffalo Wild Wings. When he walks in, the place goes nuts, yeah. and he's going to pass that up? Not a right. chance. Not a chance. Not a chance. My dad is Where are you guys playing? show up. He'll go with him. Or Stan? You're staying somewhere We're in Paris. 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 Hell yeah. 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 Just uh, mixing it up a bit, you know. Yeah, I've stayed there many yeah. times. It's, it's again, just like Planet Hollywood. Awesome location. It's phenomenal. Yeah. I like right the casino, to too, with the painted blue sky. Yeah. yeah. It's kind cool. of an interesting yeah, yeah. vibe, yeah. Yeah. Well, first time I ever did edible was in there. Is really? Right? Oh, How'd it go? Inside Lost of Paris? My mind. Yeah. Lost yeah. my mind. Did you think you were in Paris? Oh yeah. It was bad. I didn't even know. I thought it was outside and I was inside. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. And then then yeah. I flew home and I sat next to Randy Shaver on the flight. Did you really? Great dude. I was so high. Bad. <laughs> How'd that go? Well, I had my earphones in. Yeah. And, uh, well, I'll just, let's just dive in, right? Oh, so, here we go. Yeah, so, uh, it was the last day, it was a Sunday, and my buddies, they all can do a lot of edibles, like a lot, and I, first time ever doing it. So, one of my friends, they were eating cookies, and I was just like, ah, give me some of those. So, I started hammering oh, cookies. Oh, oh my oh, yeah. Jeez. Oh, okay. Yeah. And okay. then, then we actually all take, like, one edible, and I just keep eating these cookies. And then we go over, they're like, well, we got to do a buffet. Like, we're 21, we're like, we got to go do it. So then we go to the buffet at Bellagio in the basement, and there's no... I don't think that's where the buffet is. What the hell was going on? And, well, there's no windows. <laughs> yeah. This wasn't a buffet. So <laughs> I'm sitting there. I feel like I'm, like, on a submarine. Because <laughs> it's, like, the gimp. it's, like, starts moving. Dear God. And I, I'm that. walking up with my plate physically. I fall over. Oh, my God. Like, I, I don't know what happened. Like, that's how high I was. Because all those cookies I was having were all... So this is before food was on your plate. Correct. Like I. So literally... you were walking up with the empty plate and just tipped yep. over. Mm-hmm. You went cow tipping with yourself, bad. basically. Really bad. The yep. world spun on you. And then, and then, so you guys know how far it is... I, I, how far it is from Bellagio to Planet Hollywood. This yeah. is literally right across the street. Yeah, it's yeah. a five-minute yeah. yeah. walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took me an hour and a half. <laughs> Where? How? I would say, hi. You can walk the entire strip yes. in an hour and a half. And I'm not yeah. kidding. I every, could. The entire yeah, strip. God could every, every three to five minutes, I would have to stop and sit down and say sorry to everyone. It was insane. So, well, those are edibles. good friends, though. They didn't leave you. No, just they said, were like, us across the street. They, it's uh, right there. <laughs> it, it was Fraz's bachelor party. And he literally looks at me. He goes, you are ruining my whole bachelor party. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then he kept like hugging me and like making sure it was okay. So then we walked back. And you guys, I had to get on a flight home. Oh, boy. 
So they had to put me in an Uber, and like I was, I remember sitting in the Uber, just like talking to myself, like "You're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right." And I felt like I was coming down. <laughs> so I put my earbuds in, and I'm just walking through the airport. And then I um, finally am like kind of can like start thinking to myself, like oh. I'm okay. And I see Randy Shaver <laughs> on my flight. Randy, I know Randy from high school, like all yeah. you know. And I'm earbuds in. <laughs> Oh no! Oh so God. you can't control oh. the volume of your voice. And you guys know I'm already pretty loud, right? Mm-hmm. So I, on the airplane, <laughs> I oh, see, he probably doesn't want anyone to see him. I go, Randy, <laughs> 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 loud as I can, and everyone like looks like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> and then he goes, and I put my earbuds out, and I just, and then I remember ever since then, now. Everyone says Randy, and that's when I know I got too high. And oh, that's boy. why I never do edibles anymore. How many Correct. times do you think you told him how sorry you were because you were too high? I didn't want to think about it. It's one of those where... It, it, Did you talk to him the entire flight? Or no, you I, didn't it, sit it, was next? One, it was one of those where like, I was walking back to Okay, my, so you didn't oh, sit next to him. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, right. I right. thought you sat next to him and just yeah, ruined his three-hour yeah. flight Oh, no, I could imagine. Right. No, okay. He was trying to get the plane door open. Yeah. <laughs> He was telling the no flight attendant he had a bomb. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that, is, that was oh, the last that time is. I did edibles. Oh, that's the greatest, man. All right. God. Oh, you got to give him another chance, Tomer. Yeah. Let's do more of what really Maybe matters. Don't eat all of them. Correct. That's my problem. Nibble. Yeah. All right, it starts for uh, for real today. The NCAA tournament really starts. Forget this, this first four garbage. This is the one that actually matters now. Uh, at 11-15, the first game of the tournament, kind of. Uh, number eight, Mississippi State versus number nine, Michigan State. Uh, that goes all the way through until 9.05 tonight. The final game of the night is number 10, Drake, versus number seven, Washington State. Anybody else core versus four, or is it just Rosie and Sauce this year? It's falling apart. We're gambling so poorly lately. Yeah, Last year, don't let him talk you into it. Don't, don't let him I'm talk you into it. Don't let him talk you into it. Only two people. The only reason I'm waste doing of time. it is because he does these golf bets with me, and I am a honorable gambler. Core, promise me one thing. Go on. If I do this core versus the four, you have to come to a gopher football, not game, just a tailgate. No, he's, not. he's never going to do it. You don't have to do the core versus four. There is a better chance of my legs growing back. Do you know what's so sad? You're an alum. That's so sad. I, I want them to win. I just, Tommy, you know, I just don't, I'm not that into sports anymore. Oh, the only time I go to, to sports now is because I'm bringing my girls. But drinking, laughing, having fun? Drinking, laughing, and having fun are three of my least yeah, favorite he things. Do that. He, do that. <laughs> he hasn't laughed in years. Yeah, right. He's been having fun his whole life. Uh, anyway, so uh, NCAA tournament. You, honest, this used to be my favorite sporting event of the year, and it wasn't even close. Th- 100%. Th- this day specifically, Thursday and Friday, these first two days, I almost every year would beg my mom and dad, can I just stay home from school? Yeah. Can I please skip school just for the next two days? And uh, it was a no every time, but I would rush home. Yeah. Uh, as a junior and senior, and right. just sit on the couch the second I got home from school until what eleven something at night. Couldn't couldn't. It's the best. Couldn't, it's the best. It still is. Wasn't it's Power Trip out there? Weren't we out there a couple? Yeah, of we've been out there for the yeah first second, weekend, second weekend a lot of times. It's yeah. a yeah. it's a top five sports day of the year. I mean, it mm-hmm. just is. It's mm-hmm. awesome. The There's next game, four days, yeah, but specifically awesome. these next day. two with yeah, the giant it's, upsets. It's right? awesome, man. Yeah. It's it. all day. Eleven fifteen today. Eleven fifteen is the first one. I mean, Corey and I are old enough, and even John that. There were times where it was they weren't all on TV, right? You no. would get like mm-hmm. one game, and then I think for a couple of years they tried like a pay per view bit, and now they're on. You can get them on almost every. You can get all every game. It's awesome. Do you have YouTube TV? Uh, no. I do not. No, you can. Uh, you can like split the four square. Four. It. Yep. Yeah. yeah. yeah right. oh, but there's sweet. an app, the March Madness app on your TV. You can get that. Yep, you can right. select games and. Oh and really? Do that's like what. That? Remember, you came over to when oh, I had yeah, a couple yeah, yeah. Of years ago. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Dude, this is perfect. this is definitely old man uh, syndrome here, but you're not hanging out. Oh God! There is a <laughs> you're there, there was you're just something great. so awesome about. You didn't I, answer the question. I, I was running, I would run the pool a couple times in high school. There was something so awesome about at, when a game ended, sitting down and like highlighting the people who got it right, yeah, 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 crossing yeah. out the losers, keeping track of score. Obviously, everything's digital now, and everybody has yeah. apps that keep this uh, your pools tallies. I. 
kind of geeked out. I love just doing that. I love sitting yeah. down with the highlighter mm-hmm. and going through the 30 or whatever it was fun, people man. that had entered. It and, was so much fun. And back then, it was everybody mostly used the Star Tribunes one because, you know, the internet wasn't what it was. So you, it was awesome, dude. Yeah. yeah Arch yeah, Madness is like, sweet. Like fantasy sweet. football, I remember yeah. in first hour class, tallying up the scores exactly. using the box score. Yeah. yeah. And now it's so freaking easy. Yeah. yeah. It's. It's on uh, CBS, TNT, TBS, and True TV. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Which is great because you should be able to watch any game you want, especially right. if you have money on it or if it's your team that you have going all the way to the Final Four or beyond, or if it's an upset alert and you're stuck watching a game that's a 30 point blowout. It's, I want to watch the one that's at the brink of an upset. It's awesome that all of them yeah. are. And they're like available. every half hour. That's yeah. right. I got to play some wagers. I, I know. I have, I'm in zero brackets. I don't really do brackets I don't have a bracket. anymore. Yeah, I don't have a bracket either. Which also sucks. I, I probably should. What really matters, though, is this. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, the Statue of Liberty's copper sheeting is only two pennies thick. Like two pennies yeah. stuck together. Thick. Hmm. How about that? Not very uh, Not very hmm. thick. Wow. Never knew that. I'd I did expect not. it was pretty thick. You guys thick. ever seen it? Yeah. Uh, I've seen, no. I haven't gone out yeah. to the island, but I've, I've seen it from across the water, but never yeah. actually gone out on the, uh, the tour. Yes. Yeah. I've never been to New York City. It's pretty really? badass. Oh, How have you not it. had a speech would, in New York City? Would, That's a great question. Love. That needs wow. to happen soon. Yeah. yeah. JK, it's right It's awesome. Here. It's awesome. I will go. You My wife went for the first a time a couple of weeks ago. Manhattan has the best bars in the United States. I will go. And after it's it's very surreal after seeing it a million times in movies. You're, when you're actually there, you're like, holy bleep. Like the energy all about it. It's just everything. It's yeah. Times Square. The first time you go to uh, Vegas, you know, that you can just feel yeah. the electricity. I don't care how touristy and lame Times Square is for people that live in New York. Going like, oh, that's just a tourist trap. Who cares? Standing in Times Square for the first time is so cool. Yeah, yeah, so cool. Yeah. Have you been to Chicago? To Till the naked cowboy yeah, yeah. comes out too. <laughs> Have you been to Chicago? No. So Chicago and Vegas had a kid that's ten times bigger, brighter, and louder. It's New York. Look at oh, you. Yeah. Look at you, Tommy. Making oh, that. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. See, twenty-one-year-old Tommy would not have done that. <laughs> no, we're growing up. We're growing up. Twenty-one-year-old Tommy might have been the father of that. Time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Mark Laurie and A Rod have submitted documentation to the NBA to complete the acquisition of the Wolves and the Lynx. So, just a day or so ago, we were talking about how that three hundred million disappeared because that one group backed out. Uh, well, they immediately got new backing. So Shams and Johnny Athletic reported yesterday that uh, the money's there. It's all going to happen. It just looked like uh, for 24 hours, it's they got to make some phone calls and find $300 million. You know, when you're, Sauce made this point off there, and he's right. When you're Mark Laurie, maybe not even A-Rod, but specifically Mark Laurie, I don't think he goes, well, I don't know anybody with $300 million. Right. He probably knows dozens of people. It's yeah. just a matter of who should I call first. The... Which group will be the uh, the quickest? And again, uh, the uh, the story I read on uh, ESPN.com this morning was this wasn't a total surprise to them. They had uh, plan B and plan C and plan D for months. Like, all right, if this backs out, who would we call? Who would we reach out to? Who's available? So it, it sounds like they put it together pretty quickly. So they still have, uh, have to get the money to the NBA on time, but it sounds like everything's going to be fine. It's Dial Capital, I think, D-Y-A-L, Dial, however you pronounce it. Their funds that they are part of, twelve point nine billion in assets. So they just go, yeah. What is it? Yeah, what is here? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my God, right. But what really matters is this: Jesse Bogdanoff, B O G D O N O F F. You want to have some fun? Listen to this guy. <laughs> Jesse is a former. <clears throat> excuse me, former. Bank of America financial advisor to the government of Tonga, who later became the only modern-day court jester to the king of Tonga after he was embroiled in a financial scandal. That's right. He worked for Bank of America. He gave some bad advice to some people. Got all messed up financially and was then, to pay off his debt, named the court jester of Tonga by the King of Tonga and served in that way until the King of Tonga died. He was the first one. The second one will be Shohei Otani's interpreter. Because yeah, right. <laughs> that is the only chance he has of paying off that $4.5 million debt. That dude was like, Porchester. there's this uh, power company in Texas called Enron. I, <laughs> I see great things out of them. Let's load up on that stock. God, that's Straight funny. To zero. There's got to be how many moments each day where he's getting dressed for work. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> 
How did we get here? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. That Enron story is incredible. Oh, the gosh. whole yeah. bit. Yeah. Yep. How did we get in Correct. this position? There's an article in the New York Times from uh, October 7th of 2001 that says the money is all gone in Tonga and the jester's role was no joke. <laughs> wow. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Wow, man. Crazy. That what headline writer story. did a hell of a job. He sure as hell did. He might, I mean, he must have been writing that going, this can't be real. Right. Let's mm. verify a couple more times. Hmm. Uh, what do we got now? It's nine to six. Uh, Padres over the Dodgers. That is in the fifth inning. We already get fifteen runs, and we're halfway through this game. Uh, Padres lead nine to six in Seoul, South Korea. And again, the three hundred plus million dollar pitcher for the Dodgers got rocked in inning number one. Gave up five runs, and that was all he had. Jeez. So nice start to his MLB career. Iowa's football team would kill for this kind of offense. Well played. <laughs> Nine to six. But what really matters is this. Last one and the most, uh, uh, another interesting. Uh, you guys might have known the uh, Lincoln, Illinois, the town of Lincoln, Illinois, was named after Abraham Lincoln. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. What you might not have known is it was named after Abraham Lincoln eight years before he became president. He was the attorney for the uh, Chicago and Mississippi Railroad that led to its founding. They named the town after him hmm. eight wow. years before he was president. That's foresight wow. right there. Yeah, man. That's the kind of foresight that Bank of America guy wishes he had yeah, had. No well played. <laughs> he wouldn't be farting on command. Are oh. there pictures of him, Chris? There's got to be pictures of him in his gear. <laughs> farting on command. Is that what jesters do? He, whatever what he's asked to do. Yeah, there was yeah. that Make one me famous laugh. guy. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you're supposed to do? That's, that's one of the things. If that's, your, if that's your thing, yeah, sure. Is that what jesters are like? Literally, like during court, if it gets a little heated, are you supposed to make people laugh? Is that what it is? What yeah. is a court gesture? I have no yeah, idea. Not, not necessarily. Not, not, not during not, a court of law. Not a law. court of no. law. Like oh, a court, court like out kings. by the castle, yeah. like a court. Oh, like a, a nice... Essentially, oh, okay. a court gesture is what we do, but not on the radio. It's in person. It's yeah. They're comic act silly. Yeah. Oh, they're just I think on there command. were goofy stuff. Some of them have been able to fart on command, which right. I think that was kind of the Shohei Otani... Of free agents when it came to court gestures. <laughs> yeah, you were that's... basically Dave Chappelle if you could fart on command. Yeah. That, that would be of, amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was way off. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, in fact, the uh, official definition is a jester uh, is a fool or a joker who was a member of the household of a nobleman or monarch employed to entertain guests during royal court. And one of the most famous ever was a guy who could literally fart on command. <laughs> He like packed out shows. Like people went funny, out of their way to go farts see this guy. Funny. Just snorted beans. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Farts, are, farts funny. are funny. And my some of the best advice I've ever been given. My dad said, "Never trust somebody who doesn't think farts are funny." And it sounds dumb at its face, but it's true. Yeah, it's the right, people right. that get annoyed at farts or whatever, those people suck. Yeah, you're right. Well, they right. suck. Hundred percent right. Mm -hmm. Couldn't agree more. Yeah. Uh, the news is next. This is the Power Tour Morning Show on the Fan. The fan.